Today we're going to talk about prime and composite numbers. What makes a prime number? A prime number only has two factors. What are factors? Factors are numbers that can divide evenly into another number. So a prime number has only two numbers that can divide evenly into itself. There are only two numbers that can divide evenly into a prime number. Who knows what those two numbers are? If you said one in itself, that is correct. So prime numbers are only divisible by one and itself. Examples of the first few prime numbers. Our very first prime number is two. Now two is special because two is the only even prime number. All other even numbers are not prime because two can go into them. So two is our only even prime number. Next would be three, five, seven, 11, 13, 17, and then so forth. Okay, those are the first few prime numbers. Composite numbers have more than two factors. That means that not only one in itself can divide evenly into the number, but there's also one or more other numbers that can divide evenly into a composite number. Examples of composite numbers, the first one is four. Not only can one and four divide evenly into four, but so can two. So therefore, four is a composite number. The next one is six. Six is composite because not only does six have one and six as a factor, but two and three are also factors of six because they can divide evenly into six. Then we have eight, then we have nine. Now nine is odd, but not all odd numbers are prime. Three can go into nine evenly, so therefore nine is not prime. 10, 12, 14, 15, now 15, what else can go into 15 besides 1 and 15? 3 and 5, so therefore it has more than two factors, and so forth. Now, there are two numbers that are neither prime nor composite. Those two numbers are 0 and 1. Zero is not composite or prime because zero has infinite factors. Any number can divide into zero. Zero divided by 100 is zero. Zero divided by 50 is zero. Zero divided by two is zero. So zero has infinite factors. Therefore, it's neither prime nor composite. So zero has infinite factors. Now one is neither prime nor composite because one only has one factor itself. The only number that can go into one evenly is one. Okay, so one only has one factor and therefore it is neither prime nor composite. 